A one and a two and a chick a boom a chick. So what you are about to hear is an excerpt. Is that how you say it? Excerpt from a keynote I did for a franchise called Kitchen Solvers. They have an annual conference down in Florida. It was lovely. January in Tampa. And then I had to come back to Michigan and the cold. Um, the thing you're about to hear is me talking fairly quickly. Side note, kind of an interesting thing. I listen to this recording. I rarely listen to myself um, talk kind of, I don't know, whether it's video or whether it's audio. I don't do a lot of re-listening to what I record. And I talk very fast in this recording. I think it's because it was the tail end of a three-hour keynote. We were kind of sneaking in some additional details. But it reminds me, as you create content for your remodeling business, don't be afraid to listen to the recording, to learn from it. Perhaps you record one of your initial sales phone calls and listen to it back. You can learn so much. Perhaps you're meeting uh, in person with a client, and maybe you record using your iPhone um, voice recorder and listen back to it. You can learn a lot. If you can get past the listening to your own voice and, and just mentally get past that, it's a great way to improve. Even as I record this, I'm cognizant of talking at a little bit of a slower pace and making sure that I'm not rushing. So that was not the opening part that I was looking to make, but that's a little side note and hopefully a nugget of value. What you're about to hear is something I've been sharing with a lot of clients over the last year, and it's a really nice outline for how to conduct um, regular and professional meetings with some of your key people on your staff. And in the last third of it, I have a little note for the men out there with a little tip on how to better communicate with your wives or significant others. You're intrigued now, aren't you? Continue listening to this recording and enjoy. All right. So this is another one, one other item related to employee and HR. Managing your team. When you have, maybe it's an office manager, maybe it's a bookkeeper, maybe it's a lead carpenter, maybe you have a designer or a project, whoever is on your team, there are, the, the structure that I'm going to share with you is something that's just worked. It just works. Um, the rhythm of the meeting, it could be a once a week meeting, it could be a twice a month meeting, it could be a once a month meeting. And if you go, it's, it's an article I wrote for Romali Magazine, so if you go to Romali Magazine and you type in Kyle Hunt, you'll find this article, it's one of the more recent ones I did. Um, so what it is, is just a one-on-one -on -one meeting with, let's say, let's say it's your office manager, just to kind of have a specific idea. They are coming to the meeting prepared, okay? And what this meeting is, is let's just talk about a few things. One, in the first five minutes, Tell me how you think things are going and why, on a scale of 1 to 10. So 1 being bad, 10 being impressed. Office man, tell me how things are going and why. Number one, that's just an interesting question. There's, there's story after story I've heard of, like, the, the client, the, um, the owner would say, I bet you they're going to say, like, an 8. Like, it seems like they're happy and everything's going well. And they answer that question, they're like, hmm. Don't you want to know if your employees are a five on how do you think things are going and why? Right? It's like a very pointed question that gets to the strikes to the root versus kind of hacking at the leaves. It like strikes to the root of it. So that, that opens the meeting of like on one ten. Sometimes it's like an eight. Awesome, cool. And and when you have this over the course of months, you start to see some trends, right? You get to know that employee a little more. No, by the way, they are coming to the meeting kind of prepared for that. In the next five minutes, share something that you're proud of slash happy about since the last time we met, and challenges you need my help with. Focus on some positive. We talked about that several times, right? Uh, your employee coming and saying, what's something you're proud of or happy about since the last time we met? Could have been a month ago, could have been two weeks ago. And then also tell me about a challenge that you need my help with. They actually have to think about it. They actually have to come prepared to this meeting, which is totally different than the way most of you manage, right? It's usually, oh, I'm going to have a meeting with them, and I'm going to do the agenda, and maybe I can pull stuff out of them versus, let's see, Versus it's legit, like they're coming prepared for that. The next 10 minutes, let's talk about whatever you want to discuss related to something in your job, overall improvement, or advancing in your career. Or slash department. Maybe there's some training. What would come to mind for them? Again, they're coming prepared with something to talk about here. 
And then the final 10 minutes is coaching for me about something that you brought up during the meeting, something we've been working on, or something new that I think we should work on. That structure works. It just works because it gets them involved, it gets them engaged, it gets them to kind of take some ownership of their work, right? Um, and then also it gives you the opportunity to manage, to coach. The, all of those little things that drive you nuts maybe about an employee and you're kind of like, eh, should I bring that up? Or things that they're frustrated about that they don't bring up. It comes to light here. One of my clients um, started using this two months ago, and that first question was a four. And after after the second meeting of just following the structure, what they realized is together, this is, it was very interesting, they realized together that it's just not a good fit for her. And the outcome of those two meetings was that they need to kind of create a plan of how they're going to ramp her down and hire somebody new. It was a beautiful thing, right? But more times than not, what this does, it just uncovers those frustrations. Instead of, um, this is a, maybe a, more of a marriage tip, and it's, a, it's just, for, just for the guys that are married. Here's a little tip for you. Um, one of, it's, it's a similar concept, but one of my buddies told me this years ago, and he said, when you ask her this the first time, she is going to look at you weird, but just trust me on this. And he said, go to your wife and say, um, how are you doing emotionally? A little bit of a loaded question, right? So at first she was like, "Excuse me," but what she realized was that the root at the root of the question, what I was, my wife is, she's emotional, right? And I'm emotional too. It's not like this is a woman thing. This is you know different personalities. But for me, what I was getting at, and and my buddy just calls it couch time, and I've used that consistently in our marriage over the last five years. How are you doing emotionally today? And what it does is, if she's frustrated about something or something has been going on, it allows her to kind of download that and. It, cuts to the chase of maybe something that's bugging her versus, hey, how are you doing today? Nothing. Right? Versus, how are you doing emotionally today? Like, how are you feeling? And it's been very helpful. It's a similar thought here of like, there's things that are bugging your employees. There's things that your employees are doing that are bugging you. How can you get that out on the table? You follow, You see that? See how this can do that? So this is such a, a, a helpful management tool that gives you a structure for managing your team. This can be done with trade partners. So I wanted to share that with you there. So if you enjoyed listening to this recording, I have a hunch that you would really enjoy being a participant in Remodelers Community. It is a private Facebook group free of charge. I have a lot of my remodeling clients in there. I have a lot of people who have just followed my work um, for a number of years. And the conversation is on a variety of topics on how to improve your remodeling business. A lot of just great people willing to share a lot of ideas, templates, tools. Did I mention it's free of charge? Go to remodelerscommunity.com and it'll redirect you right to where you can request to join the private Facebook group. Remodelerscommunity.com. I'll see you on there.